Come along with us as we meet and greet many black entrepreneurs across the United States. Against all odds, we're getting their take on what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. These are their stories. And this is Greenwood Air. Hi, my name is Brian Love. I'm the owner of Daddy B's Barbecue here in Haskell, Oklahoma, where I believe we have the best barbecue around. We believe here at Daddy B's that it ain't real barbecue if it ain't been smoked. One thing for sure, you need no teeth to eat Daddy B's meat. I was 25 when I became an entrepreneur. I had the vision, my wife seen the vision, and we just went forward. My wife wasn't a barbecue eater. She didn't, she really didn't care for barbecue. And uh, me, I've always loved to smoke meat, loved to barbecue, and I started barbecuing, and, and for some reason, she started to love it. She started raving about it, and one of my passions was always to have a restaurant. I've always wanted to do it, but I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't know, I'm, you know, 25 years old, didn't know, how I was going to be able to do it, what it was going to take to do it. And you know, it, it at first working a full-time job plus uh, running the restaurant, it was hard. It was very hard. Young as we were, we couldn't afford to actually have a restaurant. Couldn't, couldn't figure out how to get the finances, different things to put into it to actually get uh, a restaurant. And so what we did was we actually started um, selling food uh, under a tent. We started selling food up under a tent. Uh, we would sit out there with some ice chest and <laughs> a little $24.99 griddle and toasting bread. And, and um, eventually the Lord blessed us to uh, get a food truck. And then this building here came open here in high school. And when that happened at first, um, my wife had a vision and she seen the vision and this building had been sitting here and we knew that the building was here. We knew uh, the gentleman that owned the building and we noticed that we would come by a lot, probably for a couple of years and sometimes you would see vehicles here, sometimes you wouldn't see vehicles here. And so one day we just called and talked to the gentleman and we were able to secure the building. The Lord blessed us uh, to be able to secure the building. And um, I mean, it's been all feet on the floor, on the ground, running, trying to pursue it and do everything we can to keep it running, keep it going. Advice that I would give to um, any new entrepreneur, anyone that's trying to start a business is, don't get scared, go for it. When the door closes in your face, keep pushing. Never stop. Make sure you know your passion, know what your goals are. 